Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to a new YouTube video. I'm really sorry for keeping you waiting and making huge pauses between each upload. It's been a bit crazy in the, fa uh, in the past few months and it still is, but I'll try to catch up and try really to upload a bit constantly, a bit more constantly. Um, first of all, big thank you to the guys over at Handrus from Moscow, Russia for sending this uh, sleeve. For the iPad Pro it's really really nice it's not sponsored video I just got this sent out to try out really really glad and happy about it really nice materials go and check them out I can only recommend it um, today I want to talk about the new features of the iPad Pro uh, not the iPad Pro sorry about Procreate with their new update uh, basically the uh, straight lines ellipses and all those things you can now sketch which weren't able uh, on the latest or on the past version of Procreate. So it's just a quick fly through tutorial on how to apply these tools. Um, let's start off with a straight line. You already know this function. If you sketch and hold, you'll have a straight line and you can tap with the finger and it will do, um, it will take 15 degree angles for the line so you can apply it in different ways but this is not the new part the new part now is that you can actually do ellipses and I can do a terrible ellipsis like this and just hold and procreate creates a perfect ellipse and I can actually edit the shape and change it and if I want um, if I want the ellipse to be a perfect circle I just hold and tap with a tap and hold with another finger and then I have a perfect circle and this is actually very helpful because you can sketch things like a watch so let's say you are terrible at sketching straight lines and ellipses as I am uh, even though I practice every day I'm still far away from that what I want to uh, reach or my sketches to look like uh, so you could definitely go and sketch freehand like this right and we could sketch a box for our uh, structure for our watch that we would be sketching here so um, really really rough bad sketch you could um, change the perspective and adjust it so that you can uh, achieve the shape or the the box in this case that you would like to have and you would I would try to sketch an ellipse here and start very very rough sketches for a watch this is one way you could do it right another way you could sketch a watch would be just sketching an ellipse over another and joining them until you get the shape of your watch that you want to achieve, right? But the thing is, some people like this kind of sketches. I like it. I like this typical sketchy vibe it has to it. It's not perfect, it's not super clean. Um, I've seen a lot of sketches, especially on social media where the lines are just perfect and the circles and the ellipses are just perfectly well done and it looks very very nice but it's too clinical for me but sometimes or better said when you have to make a very precise sketch it's better to have all the details um, well rendered and um, as realistic as possible so if we would sketch a watch now with the tools which Procreate offers starting off with some straight lines.
what we're doing now is the structure of our watch as I did before but just by hand now I'm using I'm using tools of procreate to work a little bit not a little bit way better and way cleaner so here I have to correct my box a bit from the perspective I took the eraser change the size all right so now just get this whoops right here done something like this all right so now we need an ellipse here and then another one on the bottom part of the box and to achieve this I don't know why my procreate starts painting with my finger I have to change that in the settings even though I already did but anyway so we start off you can actually really do a very very bad ellipse and it will still work you'll have to edit the shape a bit so that it fits the box because it should touch each side of, of your box and you could actually do each section so the box and one layer the first circle or ellipse uh, ellipses in, in another layer and then you can duplicate and move them around that's another option but this is just really to show you the function of the new features in Procreate. So there we have the two ellipses. Ellipse, ellipses. Please let me know in the comment section below if I'm saying this wrong. <laughs> and you can use this tool even to do an arc like this one, right? Because you would actually have another ellipse for the watch face inside. And you can decide either to, to do an arc like this one, and you can actually edit the shape and move the points where you want them to be. Oops. And we could do the same thing here. Try a bit more. Depth to the watch, like this. Now we create a straight line for the parts of the watch which will hold the strap in place. I'm really sorry that I don't know the specific name of those parts. I don't design watches as a main focus, but they're definitely a great practice and challenge for sketching. So for these parts of the watch, I really, just, it's faster and easier for me to just sketch them loose by hand without the fast line tools for or the quick line tools from procreate and it's just for for the purpose of the video to show you how these tools actually help um, the design process while sketching so you actually save a lot of time and still achieve a nice sketch while using these tools. All right, and the other strap, you can just trace a few lines here. And we could add another arc right here. Perfect. 
It really makes sketching super easier. Not easier, easy, sorry. <laughs> All right, so now that we have like a very, very rough layout of our watch, I mean, we could um, go a little bit more into detail, but I like to do this kind of detail on another layer. Right, so now you have this and you can um, create another layer and you can change the opacity of your first sketch and using the exact same tools, meaning the straight line, the lips and the arc tools, um, you can just clean out your sketch. And by the way, the brush I'm using right now is a studio pen and um, to get that nice thin start and finish like this this part here the only thing you have to do is um, go into your brush and stroke tapper go to uh, reduce the amount to zero and the tip to zero and that gives you that nice sketchy trace sketchy line which I really really like so now we just start cleaning off the sketch tracing the lines that we retracing the lines that we like the most. And maybe adding a few more details. And it doesn't matter if you're on the same layer for each shape that you trace, you can actually edit it directly after sketching that line. So you don't have to worry about mixing up the first arc or the first ellipse you sketched with the new one that you want to edit. And of course, you can change the thickness of the line your tracing or of your brush with the tools here. But also something which really is important is that if you're sketching with the iPad Pro and the Apple Pencil, it is pressure sensitive. So if I trace a very light, terrible line, you can still fix it and if, um, you can do very thin lines like this one and without changing the width of your brush you can actually do very thick lines as well by pressing harder against the screen. So this art doesn't work. And now after you have your outlines and the details, you can add some, some texture, either if you want to add some color with different brushes. I would like to leave the sketch uh, black and white and just trace a few lines that resemble shadow and a bit of texture. And we can change the opacity of these uh, lines that resemble the shadow, either by tapping here in the layers and in this menu, or with the magic wand opacity, you can just slide your fingers or your stylus as well. We add another layer 
gonna resemble the shadow here as if the watch would be floating in the air. And that's it. I hope you guys like this video. I know I'm always promising to post more videos. It would be very, very helpful if you would let me know either via DM on Instagram or on the comment section under this video or just send me an email uh, with suggestions. If you have any questions that you would like me to answer uh, on a YouTube video or if there is something else you would like uh, to talk you would like me to talk about on a YouTube video, just let me know. Uh, and I hope I'll see you on the next video very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Take care.